Hi everyone, this is the first tutorial on advanced camera series. Please subscribe to see future camera tutorials. In the first tutorial, I will explain all four advanced camera nodons. Before we start, I have put all the coordinates on the map. Each grid has the width of 1 meter and yeah, here is X positive and Z positive. I have also put an alien at negative 505 and a fluff ball at 505. Okay, let's get started with the first nodon, camera position nodon. The camera position nodon is at object, game screen camera, advanced cameras, and camera position. This nodon defines where the camera locates. When only this is used, the camera will point to the center, which is here. Let's put it here. In this case, because the camera points towards the origin, we can see the alien at the center. Let's take a look at it. Okay, let's try putting it at this side. In this case, the camera points to the center and we will see the fluff ball instead. What are the inputs of the camera position? Here it defines where we want to move the camera to. For example, if I move this by 10. On the x-axis. So now the camera will be here and it will point towards center. See, we can see this board. So this camera position is useful when we want to switch the views between characters. For example, we may want to get the alien's point of view and then we want to change to the fluff board point of view. Let's learn about the next nodon, camera target nodon. So it's add objects, game screen camera, advanced cameras, and then camera target. When only this is used, it will assume that the camera is always at the origin. If I put the camera target here, we will be able to see the fluff ball. If I move this to this side instead, this time, we will see the alien at the center. Like we can connect the camera to the object directly like this. Yeah, now we still see the alien at the center. The same, right? So let's look at here. Here we see X, Y, and Z parts. This defines the offset that we want to add to the camera target. For example, if I add 5 to this X part, Now instead of targeting the alien, it, it will shift the target by 5 on x-axis. So now we will be able to see this at the center instead. Yeah, so this is it. This camera target nodon is useful when we want to lock the target enemy. For example, now I have an alien that moves up and down. If I connect the camera target to this alien, the camera will now follow the alien up and then down. Yeah, so this is very useful in combat. And we are supposed to use this camera target together with the camera position. For example, if I lock the target at the fluff ball and then I add the camera position. If the camera position is here, I can see the front side of the fluff ball. If I put the position to be here, this time I will see the back of the fluff ball instead. Right, really fluffy. Let's connect this camera position to the alien that moves up and down. We will see nothing because the camera is at the center of the alien. So in this case, we have to add some offsets. Let's add an offset of 1 to the x-axis. So now the camera should be here instead. Now the camera is moving up and down based on the alien's movement. And we are looking at the fluff ball. Next is the camera direction. This defines how we want to rotate the camera. Let's try it. I add the camera direction here. You 
can see the input there are up, down, and horizontal. It accepts input as the angle from negative 180 to 180. So for example, now we have the camera position here, and it is targeting the fluff ball. If I rotate this by negative 90 degree, it will look at the alien instead. Okay, let's try to add negative 90 degree. Here comes the last advanced camera nodon, which is camera angle. So what does this mean? Now the current angle is 90, and the target is here, so we can see the 90 degree view of it. With 90 degree, we can see both alien and the fluff ball. But let's try changing it to small value like 30. In this case, we will narrow down the view, and we can only see this 005. Yes. But if we expand this to be really large, now we can see both of the characters. Yay! And that's it for today's tutorial. Now we know what these four advanced nodons are. In the next tutorials, I will show how to use this. If you have any camera views that you want to implement but do not know how, let me know in the comments. Bye bye and see you next time!